Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshing of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. And we're over in Virginia on a three day filming shoot with Blaine Chocolate, uh, learning all about this Virginia mid-Atlantic coastal fishing. And I just want to take a quick look. Um, you know, <clears throat> we're gonna do some talking about my, my backpack, which is also my boat bag. It's also my carry-on on the airplane when I travel like this. And it's just a, a, a really perfect setup for a trip like this. Um, or almost any trip in my world. But when I'm saltwater fishing, I carry uh, a variety of different tools. And I wanted to just give you a quick rundown. I carry them in the backpack in this Sims Dry Creek uh, waterproof pouch. Just keeps all my tools together instead of having stuff rammed into the backpack. You can never find anything. So all my tools, my rain gear, everything separated into compartments. Um, like this, these little bags, which makes uh, a higher level of organization. And it's really been working for me the past few years. But anyways, the tools I carry, let's have a quick look. Uh, I do carry gloves when you're doing this hardcore saltwater fishing. You're doing a lot of stripping. I have regular sun gloves and then the Sims guide gloves. They not only protect your hands, from the sun, you've got the finger protection for stripping. When you're stripping a lot in these big game changer style flies for really big fish, you want hand protection. I'll also carry some of the uh, strippy fingers um, in case I just want to put this over my stripping finger to protect my fingers. So that's an important tool. Uh, just randomly, I've got the Loon gripper uh, to reach into a big fish and pull the hook out. I've got the lip gripper in case we do want to bring a fish into the boat. I can grab him by the lips here. Also a great tool from Loon. And yet another Loon is the big monster Hemos. My manly pliers are always on my belt, okay? But <clears throat> for reaching down deep into a big fish's mouth, having these needle nose pliers can make a big difference. I've got a knife. Um, every good fishing kit should have a knife and when you're on a boat it's really important to have a good knife a pair of scissors on a zinger a lot of times if i think i need this a lot it'll be hanging off of my backpack but those are the boomerang tool uh, they also cut braid and um, and wires and stuff uh, handy to have also related to flies uh, i can have those scissors if i need to trim up a fly but i carry two different combs with me I've got the loon and then an old fashioned griffin bone comb. And that's for combing out a lot of these flies. When we're fishing these large streamers, they can get kind of tangled and I can just comb them out and kind of refurbish them. So I carry a couple of different combs with me. And then last but not least in my toolkit is my hook file. This is the Bob Clouser hook file from Renzetti. And I made myself a sheath. In fact, I think we'll show you how to make this sheath. It's just cardboard and duct tape. So anyway, but that protects that. You don't want to uh, be touching this with your fingers. It can cause it to rust eventually. And just to protect the sheath and prevent it from scraping up against the other tools. So uh, that's my toolkit right there. Of course, I carry extra of the knuckleheads. Uh, many of you know I can't fish without a knucklehead on my reel. And I also carry a few extra of these ROs indicators which I use to prevent from reeling my my leader all the way up into there so I'll have the extra of those in case I lose them uh, and then I have to mention special delivery fly line treatment it's always very close access so I can spray down my reels three four five ten times a day so anyhow there you have it there's the tools that I'm carrying with me on the boat on a trip like this whether I'm uh, fishing the Bahamas, Louisiana, here in Virginia. Anytime I'm fishing saltwater, this is pretty much just the kit that goes with me. So as always, friends, we appreciate you watching. Now I think we're gonna head out onto the water and uh, chase some redfish this morning. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming at you.